Hey Techno Studs, and when I say studs, I mean both students and you are awesome. Thanks for watching my videos. In this module, we're going to be talking about layer 2 security. Several of the protocols that we've talked about have vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities are certain qualities that an attacker can leverage to do harm to your network. So let's talk about those vulnerabilities that our different protocols have and how we can mitigate those or correct those from a layer two standpoint. So let's talk about layer two security. Let's start out by talking about basic device security, hopefully more of a review for you. So we'll talk about some things that you can do on your device to protect it. Then we're gonna get into port security. Now, some of these that I have listed out here are solutions while others are vulnerabilities. So in the case of port security, port security is a specific solution. So we'll talk about some vulnerabilities that, that are out there and how port security will actually mitigate those uh, vulnerabilities. So we'll talk about port security, then we'll get into VLAN hopping. VLAN hopping is a vulnerability. So we'll talk about some different ways that an attacker can use VLAN hopping on your networks, and then we'll talk about how we can mitigate that, some solutions for that. Then we're gonna get into DHCP snooping. DHCP snooping is a solution, and we'll talk about some vulnerabilities that are out there and how DHCP is a solution for that. Then we'll talk about dynamic ARP inspection. Dynamic ARP, ARP inspection is also a solution to mitigate against uh, several vulnerabilities. We'll talk about some different uh, vulnerabilities when it comes to STP and how you can, uh, an attacker will use STP to leverage getting into your network. We'll talk about MAC and IP spoofing, which is another vulnerability. We'll talk about CDP and LLDP reconnaissance and how that is also, uh, it's a, a so CDP and LLDP has some uh, specific things to it that cause vulnerabilities. So we'll talk about the vulnerabilities and how to mitigate against that. Then we'll get into 802.1x and how it can be a solution for a lot of uh, different vulnerabilities here. And then finally, we'll wrap it up by implementing a few things onto our network and we will be using those from here on out.